too fast. Don't worry about nothing. Mickey, you can't be lazy like that in there. Put your hands down in there. You gotta remember, Mickey, you're in his country. That's right. That's we gotta take this out home with a knockout, okay? <laughs> we train hard for this, Mick. All right? Yeah. Don't let him punch you. You don't need to. Yeah. Let's me down. Keep that. He's hiding in you, Mickey. He's throwing his upper cup when he comes in. You gotta throw that. And he's straight him up and throw your left hand. Hey. You're not this. Ward may be putting distance between himself. I'm sorry. Neary may be putting distance between himself and Ward at this point in the scoring, landing with shots like that. Big right hands. And for the first time in round six, there was a dramatic separation between the two fighters in punch output. Neary continuing at the high rate of work through 72 punches in the sixth round. Ward dipped to 41, perhaps marshalling some energy for the later rounds. Both guys are landing their right-hand leads pretty much at will. That's what you want from Ward. Occasionally, let him have a good right hand. It's that left hook you got to worry about. None of those punches landed. Good body shot by Mary. Like a matter though that time with Neary. Moves to the side, come back with a body shot. Two of those body shots below the black on uh, Ward's trunks. Nicky Van stands and watches. Hard right hand lands flush again for Ward. This time he follows with a left hook. Yeah, when you're fighting a good left hooker, you keep him confident in his right hand. Nothing's going to happen to you. Just don't allow him to get effective with that left hook. If, if Ward can't seriously hurt Neary with his best right hand, as he did about 15 seconds ago, he's going to have to pick up the tempo and beat him with volumes of punching. I don't think Ward brought any volume over this time. It's all about one or two here and there. Again, the right hand lands across the top for Ward. And again. And just that left hook that he's aiming to do it with. It's four hard right hands, and Ward has belted Neary with in the last minute. I mean, four clean shots. Boom. But Neary's still handling them pretty well. And as George Foreman points out, it's the left hook that poses the biggest danger. Like fighting Joe Frazier, and everyone is saying, he's hitting you with his right. Don't worry about that. That's not what he's going to do. Now, there's a left hook that landed upstairs. Ward, for the moment, has dispensed with going to Neary's body. And it's his left hook to the body that won the fight against Green and Sanchez. Another big right hand across the top. It seems that Ward is abandoning the idea of a left hook. He's going wholeheartedly. And Neary, Neary starts to get right hand conscious against Ward. Now Ward will get a chance with his left hook. There you are. Here we see Neary going to the body, going to the body going to the body and ultimately leaving himself open with those right hands in the last round. Ward may have found a real weakness in Neary as he looks to go to the body. He's going right over him, George. Amen. Give me the Jim, I've got it. 
it very close. 67, 66, four rounds to three, Shane Neary. In a gym, I thought he clearly read rounds five and six with that effective aggressiveness, meaning Shane Neary. But in round seven, those right hands of Mickey Ward certainly should have won him the round. I mean, Mickey Ward laid the dynamite right hands. So, I don't know, very, very close. It's Now it's become the punching power of Mickey Ward against the aggressiveness and clean punching of Shane Neary. Three judges at ringside, one from Germany, one from Great Britain, Steve Weisfeld of the United States. Nehru has got to get back, settle down, go back to your box. Sure your head is sore. You've been hit with a couple of good right hands. Stay on track. output slowing down again. Ward is best when he lands those effective shots to get away like he just did, get far away. Make Ward walk to him. Gary with a left hook to the body. Now going back upstairs. Ward trying to put more steam on his uppercut now. Ward has the temperament of a heavyweight. He just doesn't believe his back. He does fight like a heavyweight. He fights like a big, strong heavyweight. Fewer punches, harder punches. Stay dedicated to make it Ward find him. Follow me around. Find me. Oh, big uppercut by Ward. Left I told you he was putting more mustard on the uppercut. And that one plants Neary on his butt. First time in 23 professional fights that Shane Neary has been down. 23 seconds remaining in the round as Mickey Van wipes off Neary's gloves. Ward lands a huge left hook and another uppercut. The left hook lands the uppercut again. Neary down for the second time. Mickey Van's gonna stop it right there. Irish Mickey Ward with a big eighth round TKO. He's done it again. He's done it again. Mickey Ward coming over to touch gloves with George Foreman. Just like one heavyweight to another. I mean, he is a heavyweight. <laughs> this guy has no kind of image of a lightweight or flyweight or featherweight. He Look started at it all with a hook to the body, his bread and butter, then that big uppercut after tapping Neary with the uppercut all night long. In this round, he cut it loose, and that became the difference. Once he was able to get those left hooks on track, oh, it's been a bad time for Neary. The grinding, gutty Mickey Ward pulls out another big victory. And that is a major victory because that could launch him into a, a big showdown fight with an Arturo Gatti or a Costa Zoo. Who wouldn't want to and see him fight Gatti or Zoo? And he's never been better. Well, he's got his brother out of prison, sparring with him, working with him on a daily basis. They have a very close relationship. Dick Eklund has been very good for Mickey Ward. Here's knockdown number one, Larry. Yeah, coming off those right hands he was throwing in the previous round, and suddenly he went to his power punch, the left hook. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's a good combo. Mike Tyson used to throw that combo in his heyday. <laughs> left hook to the body, left uppercut. You know? Yeah, you make that sound down there and have you weary of your body and go up top. You know, son of George, he's 34 years old, but as you've said before, old isn't old anymore. Nope. <laughs> well, not the it way he fights. happened in the millennium now. <laughs> some, things, some things are different. Whew. That was a great fight. He had to win this.